No menus, no toolbars, <laughs> no worries. As a matter of fact, there are toolbars and menus in the Office 2007 version of Word, but the overall look and feel is very different from previous versions. It's a bit scary at first, nothing looks the same, and you don't know where to find things. But this new graphical user interface, more commonly called the ribbon user interface, becomes easy to use very quickly. There are many new features that will assist you during your transition, and this video will give a quick overview of the new Office button and ribbon interface. When you first open Word 2007, you won't see the drop-down menus familiar from earlier versions of Word. Instead, the Word ribbon opens, which replaces these menus. The most striking new addition is the Office button, located in the top left corner of the window. The Office button replaces the File menu and provides access to commonly used commands all across Office applications, like opening, saving, printing, and sharing files. It can also be used to close the application. Users can also choose color schemes for the interface through the Office button as well as adjust other program settings. This handy little Office button is present in several Microsoft Office programs, including Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Access. An excellent new feature in the Office button menu allows you to view your most recently used documents and pin them. Just click any of these gray push pin icons and they will turn green. Pinning a document ensures that it will always appear in your recent documents list, even as you work on and save other documents. During the adjustment to this new interface, the Quick Access Toolbar, located to the right of the Office button, will be one of your favorite features and best friend. It has a few of the old toolbar buttons, and there is a menu at the end of the toolbar that will allow you to customize and add your favorite commands. You can go to the More Commands menu and open a dialog box with every tool to pick which ones you want to put on your toolbar. The ribbon sprawls across the top of your document. It is designed to make the features of the application you're using more intuitive and accessible with fewer mouse clicks than in previous versions of Word. Each tab contains a ribbon of groups with relevant information to that tab. The Home tab, for instance, contains commands most commonly used. This includes changing fonts, paragraph styles, and headings. The Insert a tab allows you to choose between adding new pages, tables, illustrations, links, and other additions to your document. There is a home ribbon in every Office 2007 program, and if you're ever in doubt, just head home. It's where all the most commonly used tools are located. In some groups, not all the options are visible. You'll see a small arrow which will open up dialog boxes commonly found in previous versions. Here you can access more of that group's options. If you'd rather only see the tabs while you work and hide groups, you can double-click any of the tabs and all of the groups will be hidden. To access a group, click the name of the tab you need. Choose what you need in a group and work freely. As soon as you click inside your document again, the groups will be hidden. Simply double-click a tab to display the groups once again while you work. Incorporating these new features into your Microsoft Word use will help you to save time and allow you to create documents with ease.